Hi everyone, today we're going to use AutoCAD to see if the distance between the Earth and the Sun is really 93 million miles. So, to the people who don't know what AutoCAD is, AutoCAD is a professional software that is used in a wide range of industries by architects, project managers, engineers, graphic designers, and other professionals. It is very precise and it is supported by 750 training centers worldwide as of 1994. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to measure the distance to the sun using Google Earth, Time and Date website, and of course, AutoCAD. Okay, now the first thing we are going to do is make sure that the radius of the Earth is 3,959 miles. Now we go back to AutoCAD, and with this command, we draw a circle with the radius of 3,959 miles. Well, these are the dimensions of the circle that we are going to work with. Now we are going to choose two cities that lie under the same meridian circle. I chose Hungary, Budapest, and South Africa, Cape Town. Please notice that in January and according to Time and Date's website, the sun in the midday should be between these two cities. As you can see in Cape Town, the sun in the midday is in the north, while in Budapest, it's in the south, which makes our math easier, of course. But the time right now is 1.20 p.m. We are 1 hour and 20 minutes late, but don't worry, it doesn't matter at all. I have already done this many times in the midday and I got insane results and I am going to show you that at the end of this video now let's go back to see the distance in Google Earth so as you can see the distance is 5603 miles from Budapest to Cape Town that is a good distance to do the math now let's go back to AutoCAD let's divide the circle to get the distance we are looking for which is 5603 miles now let's delete these two points because we are not going to need them. Let's rotate the circle to get a better view. Now it looks better. I'm going to draw two lines to get tangent lines at 90 degrees. Now I'm going to write the names of the city so you can understand what I'm doing. Now I'm going to draw the tangent lines. Okay, there you go. Ninety degrees confirmed. Now we are going to use the time and date website to get the elevation angle of the sun of the two cities. Now let's start with Budapest, Hungary. It's 16.89 degrees. Let's just say 16 degrees. Now I'm going to draw the angle. There you go. 16 degrees. Now let's see Cape Town. 66 degrees. Please bear in mind that Budapest is one hour behind Cape Town and that the sun right now is not between them, it's somewhere above the ocean, but that's not gonna make a big difference. Now let's draw the angle in AutoCAD. Oops, I made a mistake. It should be 66 degrees and not 65. Let us check the websites just in case. Okay, it has changed to 65. Good, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. This is nothing to worry about, by the way. One degree of difference will not change anything, and I will explain why later. Now I am just changing the colors of the lines so as not to get confused. And by the way, if we follow these lines, 
they should take us to the sun. Take a look at this image. Well, now let's do an AutoCAD to measure the distance. If you think that if we open these angles a little bit more, we will get to 93 million miles, then you are wrong. And I am about to prove that to you. But before that, let's check the distances to make sure we are doing it right. So this is the distance we have in AutoCAD. Let's see if that is exactly the distance we got from Google Earth. It matches perfectly. Now let's see how far these lines are going to take us. It doesn't look so far. Before I measure the distance, I'd like to draw the sun too. So here is the radius of the sun. Four, three, two, seven hundred. Wow, that is huge. But it doesn't matter. I'm gonna draw a 93 million miles line just to see the difference. Wow. These lines should normally take you to the source of the light, which is the sun. But it doesn't work on a ball because we might not be on a ball. And please don't tell me that the sunlight bands, that is why this is not working. Take a look at this image. I am not the one who did it. This is what they are teaching us. Google it. Now let's measure the distance to the sun. Are you ready? Wow, it's not even 15,000 miles. But we are not done yet. I am really doing my best to make this heliocentric model work. Now let's draw the angle of Cape Town facing the opposite direction and see what happens. The website says that in January, the sun in Cape Town rises in the south and then it moves to the southeast and then to the east and then to the northeast and then to the northwest and then to the west and so it finally sets in the southwest. Now I don't know how that is possible on the ball earth, but it's okay, they change the directions and see what's gonna happen. There you go, 65 degrees to the south. Now let me change the color to red. Now let's see where these lines cross paths. So the sun should be here. Does that make sense? The elevation angles do not work on the ball earth. Think about it for a second and you will find out that these lines will never work on the globe we think we live in. We can spend the whole day making up angles just to reach 93 million miles. We will never get a positive result. This is another angle that I'm making up. It's almost parallel to the other one. Now let's see how far we are going to get. Please don't confuse this long line with the short ones. This is the 93 million miles line that we drew before. And these are the lines that we have just drawn. And as you can see, this distance is not even comparable with the famous one that we all know, 93 million miles. And I am going to measure this distance right in front of you to see how close that point is. 
You see that? It's not even a million lives. Now I'm going to zoom out to make you see the difference between these two distances. See that? Now let's make another angle and see if it will ever reach the sun that is supposed to be 93 million miles away. That is almost parallel to the elevation angle in Budapest. And of course that is impossible in real life. But I will do it just to prove that the elevation angles that we can measure ourselves without the help of any websites or NASA do not work on the globe. Now check this out. The lines crossed paths in the other side but the distance is closer to the earth than the previous one. And that's obvious and I'm not even going to measure it this time. I really tried so hard to make this thing work but in vain. Not because I don't know how to calculate distances, it's because the whole model is 100% wrong. Some people are going to tell me that the sunlight bends because of the atmosphere. Well, if the sunlight really bends because of the atmosphere, just like the laser beam through the water, then this is going to make it even worse. And check this out, I'm trying to prove it to you. If the sunlight bends, it's gonna make the shadow look shorter than it should be. And if the shadow is shorter, then the elevation angle is gonna be higher. And that means that the angles we have already used are already exaggerated. Yet the sun is still not 93 million miles away. Imagine the results we will have if the light doesn't bend at all. And if you think that when the light bends it makes the shadows longer, then watch the video again because I opened the angles as wide as I could and in vain. So if you think that you debunk this video just by saying that the sunlight bends, then you completely miss the point because I have already tried all the angles and none of them worked. I even made up impossible angles right in front of you but they did not work. So even if the sunlight bends as you think it does, 93 million miles is still gonna be impossible to reach using the elevation angles. Well let me show you something before I stop recording. Uh, this is what I've been doing the last couple of months, measuring the distance to the sun from all places of the world. I even wasted a lot of time doing this in 3D. On my next video, I'm going to measure the distance between the flat earth and the sun. And it will be in 3D, because I am sure that it won't be a waste of time. Everything works on our flat earth. So here are Budapest and Madrid. I was trying to do the same thing. Their elevation angles were almost the same. It didn't work. It didn't work because the sun doesn't circle between these two cities. Okay? So it just didn't work. Even if I changed the directions of the angles, it didn't work. As you can see, both of them are facing south. But the distance we got didn't make sense at all. Okay? And I did it again at 11.30 a.m. When the sun was between Budapest and Cape Town. Okay? This is for those who think that the time would make a big difference. There you go. No difference at all. The distance is not even 2 million miles. Not even close to 93 million miles. It can never reach that far. Okay? Now both angles are facing the south. I kept the same angles and here it is, about 2,000 miles. 
And of course, it doesn't make sense at all. Now, if you really feel like debunking this video just to feel better, get AutoCAD first and do what I'm doing and send me your video. That's it. Hi again, this is Zach, and this is the continuation of the other video about the distance to the sun. I decided to make this short video for some people who thought I was doing the wrong math. I have already explained these points in my other video, but it seems like some people didn't get it. Here is a video that was made for me by somebody called Squeaker Alpha. I gotta thank him for that first and for questioning me, okay? It's always good to ask questions. Uh, so I made this diagram just like the one he made for me, okay? And now I'm going to measure the angles in front of you so you can feel more comfortable, okay? You can check his video to see if everything is correct or not. That is geometry for some people. Now, he thinks that these two lines are going to cross paths in 93 million miles, or at least somewhere close, right? Now, let's measure the angles real quick. Now let's see where these lines are going to cross path. Well, that doesn't look like 93 million miles, does it? Okay, let's measure the distance. Wow, that is just a quarter of a million miles. Come on, man. Case closed.